Hi guys, hope you all are well, safe and calm at your home and following the guidelines issued by WHO and the Health Department of India to save yourself and the people of this nation from the devastating effect of COVID-19. This is Hansla Khan on your screen who is studying at Mirza Ghalib College Gaya in the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. Today I am going to make you aware about the misguided policy of the central government of India which will cut deep into patient safety that is allowing the legal permission to the Ayurvedic graduates for the surgery which is my project given by my teacher Mr. Sayyid Dhani Shazam. To know about the fact please don't skip the video. It was a pleasant morning of 1st December 2020 when I saw an article on the editorial page of the Hindu newspaper and the article was written by Dr. George Thomas, an orthopedic surgeon practicing at Chennai and a former editor of the Indian Journal of Medical Ethics. The strongest argument against the ill-advised move of the government of India is that surgery is a branch of medicine in which poor training can have dramatic and disastrous result. Surgery is performed by the team of sophisticated surgeons which also need many type of newly developed surgical activities. After completing five years course from the medical university which is known as MBBS, students enroll themselves in specialization in the particular field. For example, specialization in the treatment of brain, specialization in the treatment of eyes, specialization in the treatment of heart, lungs, kidney, ear, skin, nervous system and each and every internal and the external parts of the body. Students who study surgery, they study how to deal with the disease and how to treat the diseased softly with no impact on the patient's body. They get the education under the guidance of very talented teachers with the help of newly developed machines in their university. And after completing the education, they practice as an assistant surgeon in the guidance of senior surgeons. For but all years. these things doesn't happen in an Ayurvedic universities as compared to an allopathic universities. Getting admission in an Ayurvedic universities is easy as compared to an allopathic universities. Students of Ayurvedic universities are not well trained in the field of surgery as compared to the students of an allopathic That's why doing surgery is a Himalayan task for them. To criticize the decision of the government, Dr. Thomas writes in his article that it is impossible for Ayurveda to incorporate surgical techniques while ignoring the other domains of modern medicine. Now at the last come to the solution. From my point of view, the government should increase the number of an allopathic universities and the government should also increase the number of hospitals by making it cheap for the common person of this nation. Giving legal permission to the Ayurvedic graduates is no more appreciated by the persons who have common sense.